number of horses in this race that tickle the fancy a little bit. Yeah, yeah. horses with form like Hardy Boy stroll on by. Invincible now doesn't tickle my fancy much. Uh, and I wondered who, which of the handicapped debutants might get punted. I didn't think it'd be eyed. I, I must say, I, I, you can see the, the argument from the one run at Sandown 15 months ago, but he's going to have to do a lot better than he did here in January. Yeah, he's got the tongue tie on today. Jonathan talked about the fact that his first run was behind Constitution Hill. Then he was sent to Aintree where he took on John Bomb. Yeah. Um, and El Fabiolo, obviously. Yes. <laughs> um, and here he is today um, appearing uh, in this handicap off uh, a mark of 104. Uh, oh, he was obviously pulled up in that handicap at... 99 uh, today. 99 today. I mean, it's... I mean, he's a good-looking horse. Yes. Uh, I can see why he cost the 58 grand and why he was uh, suckered into running into those tough races. <laughs> um, but um, whether or not this is the day, we shall find out. Daryl Jacob seemed on good terms with himself as he wandered out to ride. What about what about Hardy Boy? I thought he was a, a pretty solid contender here after that run at uh, Kempton. Exactly, exactly. The cheap pieces were there. He's only nutted on the last stride, having made a blunder two out, if the cheap pieces work again. And you imagine given how those tactics worked at Kempton, that, and as it looks to be, he'll, he'll be making a running. Ike Sport 15 to 8, 100 to 30, Hardy Boy, Invincible now is 11 to 2, 6 to 1, and bigger the ref. Ike Sport sitting pretty at the top of the betting. Rishi. Tom, this is a good race, uh, primarily because we've got a horse who bolted up last time out, who's at the top of the market, and you can see the reason why, but there are a number of alternatives if you are looking to take the favourite on with horses who are unexposed, but also horses who've been running well, Jonathan. Yes, well, the unexposed ones, I mean, Ide has been, uh, certainly been backed, because that was 25 or 33, so it appears to be a, a slight interest in Mikhailovich. Uh, Gladiators is quite steady. They're all horses that uh, could suddenly take a major leap forward. And then you've got a perfectly reasonable, sound favourite who won last week, doesn't have a penalty, Ike Sport, and is £6 well in. They don't always win, but 15 to 8, they don't always start as big a price as that either. Yeah. Um, yes, and behind that, you've got a horse like Hardy Boy who put up a very solid run at Kempton last time out as Absolutely, well. Absolutely, and made the running then, and looking at that, it looks like he's at least going to attempt to make the running again, and he's got gladiators up there with yeah. him. And guess who's at the back? Invincible Nell, who <laughs> was described as shifty. <laughs> and guess where he's taking a spot up at the back? Oh, yes. Mm. Well, we'll see. The flags are raised. Cracking We're almost prospect. ready to go. It is a great race in prospect. Um, Ike Sport, uh, Jonathan put this up earlier on today. Um, nailed it earlier with Master Malcolm. Let's see what happens here with Martin. And off. Just shy of two and a half miles for the Racing TV Handicap Hurdle. Ten flights to cross. Running to the first. Hardy Boy Gladiatus and Calmore, the leading trio. They're all over it safely. Invincible now and Stroll on by dropped out in the last pair. Ike Sport held up along with Ide in the final quartet. And Mikhailovich is chasing the leading trio. On their way to the second, Hardy Boy and Gladiatus, who was untidy, the front pair. Calmore landed third ahead of Mikhailovich, Ide and Ike Sport. And there's a little gap to the last pair, held up off the pace, Invincible now on the inside of Stroll on by. On the long run between flights two and three, Gladiatus on the outside of Hardy Boy, matching strides with Calmore in third as they go into the turn. Mikhailovich is fourth, Ide rides the rail in fifth, Ike Sport is next, and then Invincible now and Stroll on by. Front pair touchdown together at the third. Gladiatus on the outside of Hardy Boy. Calmore is third, couple of lengths off them, with Mikhailovich close behind. And then Ide racing in fifth, purple and white diamond jacket from Ike Sport in the two shades of blue. And Invincible now on the inside of Stroll on by remain anchored in the last pair. Top of the home straight on the first circuit. 
running on towards flights four and five. Hardy Boy, Gray on the inside of Gladiatus. They continue to match strides with Calmore racing wide in third. Hardy Boy a much more fluent lead than Gladiatus at the fourth. Now moves on by a length as they jump the next and that time Hardy Boy got it wrong and Calmore's jumping away to the left and losing his place. Mikhailovich has gone third. Calmore up on the outside of him. Regains the position with a circuit to go. Eyed Ike Sport still held up just off the leading quartet. Invincible now, who's beginning to pull, is next. And stroll on by his last, but they're well grouped. Six lengths would cover them as they prepare to bear right-handed at the end of the home straight. Gladiatus on the outside of Hardy Boy. Calmore only a length off them. Then Mikhailovich eyed a length back to Ike Sport. Invincible now and finally stroll on by. They nearly covered a circuit and they're running towards flight number six. It's Hardy Boy by a neck over Gladiators. Calmore driven along a length off them in third. Mikhailovich on his quarters with Eyed close behind. And then Ike Sport and Invincible now and finally stroll on by. Five lengths would cover them as they pick up at the first on the far side Hardy Boy emerged in front by half a length from Gladiatus and then Calmore driven for dear life on the outside of Mikhailovich and Eid who's taking closer order up the inner Ike Sport is on the heels of the leaders then Invincible now going over three out stroll on by the last to clear it Calmore though is beginning to beat a retreat Running towards the end of the back straight, Hardy Boy by a neck from Gladiatus. Ike Sport has moved up smoothly into third with Eid on the inside. A length back between rivals is Mikhailovich. Then Invincible now and Stroll on by, still being held on to, and Calmore has dropped to the rear. On the turn going to three out, Hardy Boy has seen off Gladiatus, but Eid and Ike Sport have gone off in pursuit. They jump three out, second and third. Stroll on by and Invincible now are beginning to be played as they work their way back towards home. Mikhailovich has weakened and Calmore has become tailed off. It's Hardy Boy from Ike Sport taking second before the turn in. Ide will swing for home in third. Stroll on by, ridden along in fourth. Invincible now is fifth, but hard ridden and seemingly not finding, and they've drawn well clear of the other three who are all likely to be pulled up. Running on towards the second last, it's Hardy Boy taken on by Ike Sport on one side, Ide on the other. Stroll on by is a couple of lengths behind them, going over two out. The long-time leader, Hardy Boy, has been headed by Ike Sport and Ide, who will jump the final flight in unison. They land together. Eyed in the purple and white on the far side. Hardy Boy has weakened out of contention as they race into the final hundred yards. It's Eyed from Ike Sport running up towards the finish. I just too good for Ike Sport who is tightened up for room near the finish. Invincible now is plugged on to finish third. Hardy Boy weakened to finish fourth and then stroll on by. 84 runs, 404 days. Paul Weber has, has had a very welcome winner and Ide has travelled very kindly under Daryl Jacob and has beaten a clearly informed horse in Ike Sport, Jonathan. Well, they both travelled really well, but I found more than, than uh, the favourite, Ike Sport, not unbacked by any means, because he was a big price this morning and... You know, those who spotted him behind Constitution Hill 15 months ago... Uh, <laughs> I mean, it's going to be interesting what they, what they say. I imagine they'll be asked to explain tongue strap on for the first time. But he, he did look very willful when pulled up here in January. I mean, he's it, just, it just hanging very badly, but he's bang on it this afternoon. He has I mean, impeded the runner-up slightly near the finish, but to, to no extent. Hardy Boy out in front. Yeah. To the right, you'll see Calmore, who was rusty again. Yes, all crusty. Uh, I mean, it's very believable form all this. I mean, mm. Hardy Boy's made a, a pretty good effort. He was attended by Gladiators for, for uh, two-thirds of the race, but that one quickly disappeared. 
In behind, you'll see the two horses who are traveling well, Danny Gilligan on Ike Sports and Daryl Jacob on I. Just behind them was Mihailovic. Yes, I, and I thought, I mean, Danny Gilligan's ridden six Irish flat winners, yet the rider jumps with him. I thought he handled Ike Sport perfectly mm. well. He always put him in the right place at the right time. He's just, just run into a horse that, in the end, had a bit more oomph than he did from the last. The other grey that uh, is in the leading six is Invincible Nair, who uh, was a little bit keen, never really settled yes, earlier. Yes, yeah, too keen. And then when it came to push, came to shove, not a lot happened at all. And then he's plugged on to pass a couple of rivals to finish third. I'd still put him in the um, one to see him win mm. before I back him.
A boy. Uh, the last few include uh, good old Bill, How Much, and Petite Rhapsody. So they're on the downhill run going down the far side, and the running being made by Golan Cloud leads by about a half length to Marty Time. The White Volcano, Monaghan Boy, those two are running together. They're being followed by Cowboy Cooper. Back in mid division, Lua House, and then comes Kilcara Boy on the inside and held up how much and a couple of lengths maybe three now to good old bill and petite rhapsody they're racing in unison so they go down into the dip and approach the third hurdle and it's golan cloud and marty time there's about a neck between them a couple of lengths to the white volcano chased by monaghan boy and cowboy cooper Lua House in mid division as they leave the ground there. Kilcara boys to the wide outside. How much still has just those two petite rhapsody and good old Bill behind. So making the run up the hill, having jumped three hurdles of the 10, and it is Golan Cloud on the inside rail. Sean Quinlan aboard Golan Cloud from the grey Marty Time second place. The white volcano just in behind in the blue and yellow silks with Monaghan Boy and Cowboy Cooper following. They're chased by Lua House. Further back to Kilcara Boy as they turn the corner and make the run now towards the hurdle before the winning post. How much is still held up behind a wall of runners? The last two, Petite Rhapsody and Good Old Bill. And it's Golan Cloud and Marty Time as they draw towards this hurdle. Good jump from Golan Cloud from Marty Time landing in second place. The White Volcano and Monaghan Boy, they sit together. Kilcara Boy and Philip Holmeson in the yellow and black jacket getting no cover. Cowboy Cooper on the inside of Lua House. And then comes How Much Petite Rhapsody in the green and yellow silks ahead of Good Old 
world bill. So they're on their final circuit and going now towards the fifth hurdle. And it is Golan Cloud by a half length to Marty Time. A couple of lengths to the White Volcano and Monaghan Boy. They're followed by Cowboy Cooper as they draw towards this hurdle. Leaders over it safely. Holfield have jumped it and uh, they'd be covered by about eight to ten lengths. So it's Golan Cloud in front of Marty Time. The White Volcano and Monaghan Boy are together, then Lua House followed by Kilcara Boy. Cowboy Cooper on the inside ahead of How Much and William Easterby, Petit Rapsy, Patrick Watch, and last of all is good old Bill in the hands of Connor O'Farrell. They're very well bunched as they now head towards the back straight. Just four to jump, and as they take the turn towards the far side, it's Golan Cloud, the leader. Golan Cloud leads Marty Time, but there's not a lot between those two, to be fair. The White Volcano and Monaghan Boy are next, then Kilcara Boy, Lua House midfield, with Cowboy Cooper on the inside, Blue Sleeves, Blue Cap, followed by How Much, then Petit Rhapsody, and good old Bill gets a view of all the field. Going on down the far side towards the next hurdle, this is four from home, Golan Cloud and Marty Time will pick up there together, Golan Cloud on the inside of Marty time then kill Boy, the white volcano lua house now making trying to make progress ahead of monaghan boy as they jump that flight further back to cowboy cooper petite rhapsody and how much and several lengths to good old bill so they're on this long run now to two out Marty Time has taken over, leads by about a half length to Kilcara Boy, Golan Cloud on the inside of the White Volcano with Lua House next. They're all queuing up to buy a ticket in this race as they go now down the hill towards the second last. Uh, Cowboy Cooper's within striking distance. Monaghan Boy has just lost a few spots from Petite Rhapsody. How much is outpaced? Good old Bill outpaced. Marty Time holds on to the lead. It's Marty Time, Golan Cloud, the White Volcano, and then comes Kill Cara boys, they run out of the dip. Lua House just behind them, and then Cowboy Cooper. But it's Marty Time, the leader, two from home. Marty Time over. And a mistake there from Petite Rhapsody in the green and yellow jacket. So they're on the climb towards home. Three furlongs to go. One to jump. Marty Time leads. Lua House now moves into second place from the White Volcano. On the outside, Kill Cara Boy. Several lengths to Cowboy Cooper, who's kicked away from Petite Rhapsody. Monaghan Boy is under pressure, making no impression. Golden Cloud is on the retreat, followed then by How Much and the good old Bill, who's never been on the track. They're homeward bound, less than a quarter mile to go. And it's Marty Time really kicking for home from Lua House. And then comes Kill Caraboy and Cowboy Cooper. They're well spaced out now. And it is the grey Marty Time coming towards the final hurdle. Marty Time, big and bold at the last from Lua House, second place. And Lua House must be a good eight lengths down now on the flat. It's Marty Time from Lua House. And then comes Kill Caraboy. Marty Time in the hands of Ross Chapman for Sue Smith's label. Marty Time scores for the first time. Marty Time the winner. Second place, Lua House back in third Kilcara boy ahead of the fourth place horse Cowboy Cooper.